everyone is wondering, when should you buy more Bitcoin? When should you take profits? When is the market cycle top going to be? What's Bitcoin going to do next? This chart right here has all of the answers. It's wild and it's gonna blow your mind. It's like if you just discovered a pile of gold in your backyard. Take a look. In front of you, every single January candle is circled, but there's a pattern. Two yellow, two red, two yellow, two red, two yellow, two red. Why? The yellows are the two January candles that are in the bull run. Then you have two after the market cycle top. Then you have two in the bull run. Then you have two after the market cycle top. Then you have two in the bull run. Then you have two after the market cycle top. Guess what comes next? We have two in the bull run, but it gets better. What if I told you that from this market cycle bottom here to the top of our first January candle is about 200%. What if I told you the same thing happened in the next cycle? If you go from the bottom of this cycle to the top of our first January candle, it's about 200%. What if I told you it didn't stop there? It also happened in the next cycle. If you go from the bottom of here to the top of our first January candle, it's about 200%. And guess what? We're in January right now. If you go from the bottom of our market to the top of our candle in January, guess what it is? It's about 200%. There are so many clues as to what is happening next, as well as when the market cycle top is going to be and a couple curveballs that I'm gonna throw in the mix. Things are heating up, you better be ready. Did you see the huge trade alert that we just launched? If you somehow missed it, go to our website right now and sign up. It's free, 100% free, and it takes three seconds to do. CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Again, that's CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Welcome in if you're new, my name is Steve. On this channel we take no paid ads, no paid sponsorships, no paid affiliate links down below. What do we do instead? We talk about cold hard facts in the charts that actually help you. The only thing I'm asking in return is that you hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and join the movement. We're on our road to a half a million in this market cycle. Join the movement. So here we are. Bitcoin, US dollar index, monthly chart. And boy, do we have a steamy chart to get to. This is wild. The patterns that we have found in this chart are wild, right? I love the fact that we get two January candles in the bull run. I love the fact that we get two January candles right after the market cycle top. Every single time, right after the market cycle top and the bottom, right after the market cycle top and the bottom, right after the market cycle top and the bottom, happens every single time. But these two that we get in the bull run have some significant signs that I want to display to you. For example, I already explained the 200% thing, but take a look at this. If we were to take the top of this January candle to measure how long it took to get to the market cycle top, it was 670 days. How about this one? If we take it from here, our first yellow candle, the, the first January candle to our market cycle top, 700 days. The first one was 670. The next one is 700. Now let's go to this one. If we go from this one to the market cycle high, you're talking about 670. So we went from 670, 700, 670. This one might be 700. If it were 700, where does that bring us to? If we were to take this first January candle and measure out 700 days from now, it brings us to December 2025. Tilt your phone to the side and subscribe. Now, as I said many, many times, 2026 is gonna be a fire sale probably for everything in the world, especially for Bitcoin. So we need to prepare for that. But this December 2025, a potential top for Bitcoin, given the information we have, according to this chart, again, we're looking at just purely the facts, not what I hope is going to happen, not what I think is going to happen, not what other charts are saying. We're talking about this chart and this chart only in the cold hard facts in this chart alone. December 2025, okay, pretty much lines up with what we've been discussing. 2025, 
is likely going to have the top for Bitcoin. At what stage? We need further evidence. But according to this chart, December. But things are heating up for the better. And take a look at why. If we were to measure the move from the top of our first yellow candle to the top of the market, right? If we were just going to go ahead and do a measured move here to see where we're at, you're looking at roughly 16,000%. Cycle one, 16,000%. Let's keep that on the screen. And for cycle two, we went from here up to here. So we went about 4,000%. Just let that sink in for a moment. Those of you who are like, oh, this time is different. We're going to go to the moon. Half a million dollar Bitcoin, million dollar Bitcoin. Y'all are on drugs. Y'all are on drugs. Let's just look at the facts, right? We talked about it. 16,000%. Then we went to 4,000%. Are you kidding me? 16,000 to 4,000. Let's keep those on the screen. Cycle two, 4,000. Let's look at cycle three. Cycle three right here, top of the January candle to the top of the market, uh, 600%. So how did we go from 16,000% then to 4,000, then to 600? And y'all think we're gonna somehow explode to the upside out of the blue. This is not according to the charts. Then if you study the structure of the charts, you understand, okay, cycle is very strong during this part of the cycle. Beautiful curvature here. Beautiful. This is a textbook cycle. This one right here, textbook, beautiful cycle. Then we get into some problems here where clearly you can start to see structurally we're in trouble and we're almost moving sideways here. We're almost starting to move sideways here between this cycle top and this cycle top. We can even call this kind of like a phase one and this is kind of phase two. Phase two is built right on top of phase one, but they're just prolonged cycles that are just so far from being bullish that it's not even funny. If you just take on the screen 16,000 to 4,000 to 600, what do you think is gonna be next? 20,000, are you guys on drugs? Like this, this is not lining up well for Bitcoin. I, I love Bitcoin. I want Bitcoin to go to the moon, but I'm a realist. And my job is to help change your life by giving you facts and helping you wake up to the facts in the charts as opposed to an emotional opinion so you can make a lot more money and profits with your trading. And structurally, we're having trouble. If you just look at the facts of the numbers, we're in big trouble. If you take any of those scenarios, there's no facts in the charts that are saying we're about to explode to some astronomical number. There is no data to support that. However, there's a lot of data to say that that's not happening. A lot of data. There's no data to say it will happen, and there's a whole lot of data to say it won't. So what do you think is going to happen based on the data? I want to say this, right? We are going to complete our first January candle. And this next candle is quite interesting as well. If you take a look at it and you understand, okay, the cycle high to this candle here, we're a year apart, but this happened in phase one. This happened at the tail end of phase two. Okay, this happened in phase one. This happened at the tail end of phase two. This happened in phase one. This happened at the tail end of phase three. So if we have our candle here, which happened in phase two, it's pushing it back, right? It wouldn't surprise me if our next January candle is, is at the market cycle top or right near it, right? Just looking at the evidence we have here, like this happened pretty early right? This happened at the tail end of phase two. Then you have tail end of phase three. Then you have, well, at, at the end of our, our blow off top, right? It's pushing it each January. It's pushing it back a little bit further in the market cycle. And then we threw a little wrench in here because we have our double top. And then we threw a wrench in here because of structurally we're having trouble, right? The market is starting to lose momentum. It doesn't take a genius to realize that. You don't even have to know anything about the charts. You just look at the lines on the chart and you realize we're losing some steam. 
right? That's why I've said repeatedly, this could be like an eight-ish year thing that started in 2021 that kind of moves sideways. And that's fine. That would be the healthiest thing ever in the market. It would get rid of at least half the scams in crypto, which is really needed. They would all go bankrupt, which would be really nice. And then it would flush out all the weak hands. And then the innovation would be beyond belief, really, really good. And then we would create a whole new cycle. Like this is, you know, we're looking at like a 14 year cycle in front of us. That whole 14 year cycle could repeat after a whole flush out cycle occurs, which would be literally the healthiest thing that Bitcoin has ever done. The stock market has done that move multiple times. Usually it happens like every 30 ish years, it will have a complete flush out. And that's what's needed in crypto, to be honest. And it looks like that's what crypto is gearing up to do. So if you just take a look at these January candles, there's so much evidence and there's so much clarity. I just absolutely love this, especially with what we showed you in the percentage wise, 200% from the bottom, the timing, the market cycle top. There's just so much stuff here, but take a look at this next January candle and we should be relatively excited about it. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you right back here in the next video. Did you see the huge trade alert that we just launched? If you somehow missed it, go to our website right now and sign up. It's free, 100% free, and it takes three seconds to do. CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Again, that's CryptoCrewUniversity.com.